All right, what is up guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today, we are gonna be hitting a heavy deadlift session back workout because we are 18 weeks out from stepping on stage and then we're gonna do the Ironman. So we got a lot of big things planned this year. We gotta take one day at a time. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna start off with our protein coffee like I do every morning. With my protein coffee in the morning, I take my vitamins. So this is a collagen, and then I have my multivitamin. This has vitamin D3 in it, and a ton of other essential micronutrients. Lastly, I take strong omega, which is a fish oil. This just helps with my joints and feeling good overall. Um, and lastly, vitamin D3. So this and protein coffee before the workout. All right, so had the protein coffee, vitamins. Now it's time to get dressed. Now this is the biggest thing I want to tell you guys. I wanted to make this video to be transparent with you. I recently left Young LA. The reason being is we just didn't work well together, my audience, um, and I felt really like I didn't like it as much as I thought I did. So for quite some time now, I haven't been with them. I used to wear it. Um, and I do like some of their stuff, but to be honest with you guys, I switched with the brand that I believe in now that actually fits me. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not like the whole LA crowd, um, so it didn't really fit me that well, because at the end of the day, I wanna wear something that represents me, um, just like BPN does to T, go one more. Um, and now I decided to join Gymshark. With that being said, I love their stuff. This is a dream of mine. This is our stringer. And here are some five inch black seamless shorts. That's what I've been wearing to the gym recently and that's what I always wear. I got a big shipment coming in so I'll give you guys like some try on hauls and stuff. But to be honest with you, Young LA just didn't fit me. Um, and Gymshark does. Link in description below of the Gymshark that I wear. The more you support me, the more I can give away to you guys and help you out as well. Um, but with that being said, I wanted to have that talk with you guys because I've been getting a ton of questions. So with that being said, let's go to the gym. I'm gonna attach the link or the name of this stringer below. So now it's time to go to the gym absolutely freezing in Texas. I'm gonna show you guys what my truck looks like. I mean, this is Texas right now. It looks like the North Pole. Jeez. All right, so we got 135 on the bar now. Just gonna load up the plates and what I do to warm up for deadlifts is I add a plate after each set. So starting with 135 right now. We're gonna try and pull 600. I've been failing at this so many times, countless times, but we're gonna fucking get it. We're gonna get it. Let's go. Come on. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> Well, that hurt, That's but the ET still runs, so round two. <laughs> All 
All right, so right now we're gonna work on just building up the deadlift. So we're gonna hit like reps of anywhere from one to five. We're gonna see how 500 moves. Um, and we're just gonna do three sets of that. So basically pick a weight that's pretty difficult that you can get from anywhere from one rep to five reps, um, ideally around three. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. So we got 500 on the bar and we're just gonna throw that around. deadlift days take so much out of you. Um, so we did five by two and the workout's just getting started. Um, deadlifts are super good for like back density, getting that tree, that thickness. Um, something you can really tax to the central nervous system on and really signal your body to grow muscle because you can put such a load on it. Um, but with that being said, we're gonna go into the rest of the workout. Feeling really, really shitty right now, just tired, but we're gonna keep pushing. This is, this is where you grow when, it, when it's really hard. A lot of people like to work out and just like have fun, which is fine, but we got goals here. We're trying to be hit the pro card or qualify for nationals and then, you know. And also I want to be a weapon on the Ironman course, not only in endurance, but also here in the weight room. So you got to give it your all in both. So that being said, let's get into it. So just finished up lap pull downs. That is one of my favorite exercises for back growth. Um, but now we're gonna go into the rest of the back workout. So basically what I do is I deadlift to build the back thickness, then to build and focus on the lats, I'll do um, lap pull downs from six to eight reps um, and maybe even higher, eight to 10. But for the rest of the workout, we're gonna try and push more into hypertrophy ranges um, because that was more of strength training. Um, I like to do the power build approach. So now we're gonna do hypertrophy and do like some dumbbell rows, keep it light, maybe do like 120s on the rows. And yeah, I'm gonna walk you guys through the rest of this back workout. And then we're going to HEB. Get some groceries and then show you guys what we got to fuel the gains. So that being said, Today's a bad day to be wheat, and we're corn fed. Don't ever forget that. So what I like to do here is I like to get like an incline bench and put one hand here and bend over, a slight bend. Just really hit the lat here. Get a really good stretch. So to wrap up the back workout, I finished with lat pushdowns. Um, basically, you just really get a good stretch here in the lat. So basically you're coming here and squeezing at the bottom right here, but you're in a bent over position, relaxing at the top, just really getting that squeeze at the bottom. So this is how I like to finish every back workout. So yeah, let's do it. I'm beat. Now to start off with the grocery haul, I figured it'd be fair to show you guys how I track my calories and what I track my calories with. 
Um, so this is a nice well scale. Um, this is what I preferably use um, because it weighs a lot and it's very accurate. I've used other scales in the past and they just haven't been accurate. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, but we're gonna get into the food. We're gonna break it down into protein first, carbs second, and then fats. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the grocery haul, so let's do it. So to get this squared away, I'm gonna get started with the first one that's pretty obvious. Protein, um, I mix vegan and uh, whey in my diet just because if I eat too much whey, my stomach hurts. Um, so when I balance the two, because I'll normally have two scoops a day, so I'll have one in the morning in my protein coffee of whey, and then I'll have vegan in my yogurt, which is my next protein source. Um, this is light and fit Greek yogurt. This is one of my favorites. The next protein source I have is eggs. Now I use eggs and egg whites. Now eggs are gonna be used depending on how much fat you have. So if you need more fat, use whole eggs. If you want less fat, use egg whites. I use the two to balance them out. So normally I'll put like two eggs in and then add 100 grams of egg whites. Just to get more volume, make it seem like I'm eating more eggs. Um, but there's a protein source. Next we have chicken breast. That's obviously a staple. Low in calories, low in fat, and high in protein. So it's just something that's good to mix in with your diet. I hit all areas of my diet. My diet covers every area of the pyramid. So with that being said, with chicken, you also need red meat. I get 93.7 red meat. Sometimes I'll get 90% um, lean. So I do that because it's lower in fat. But if I do want to go higher in fat, I'll go to 90%. I don't really drop into the 80s just because it's, it's almost too fatty for me. Um, but that is that. And basically, I get ground beef because this, rather than steak, it's cheaper. And it's also a lot easier to eat. Um, and the quality is the same pretty much. So now we hit almost all the animals on land <laughs> that I eat. Chicken, beef, and uh, eggs, yogurt, egg whites. We're missing tuna and the fish. So I eat tuna fish just because it's one of my favorites. You can add a lot of flavor to it. I make tuna salad, but, but these bacon ranch packets are amazing. Um, calories on it are really good. 15 grams of protein, 80 calories for just this pack. Um, I make tuna wraps every day almost. And yeah, it just gets my fish oils in and it's just something that I really enjoy. I also add in salmon as well. I don't have salmon with me. I just ordered some. So for protein, we hit all areas. We hit the beef, we had the chicken, um, which is like the poultry. And then we have the eggs, the dairy, the yogurt. Yeah, that's my protein sources. Next, we're gonna go on to the carbs. Next, what we have is gonna be the carbs. This is one of my favorites. To start it off, we're gonna start with the fruit. Really all the fruit I eat is blueberries. I get frozen blueberries, and if you haven't seen my full day of eating, I add it in my yogurt. Um, that's about it, but I do eat about 200 grams of blueberries a day. Um, and now going into like the vegetables, what I do is I'll eat carrots and green beans. So I get canned carrots because they're cheap. Um, nothing special about these, but they're amazing. I cook it in with my rice, um, with the carrots. I also have red skin potatoes. I make these pretty much every night with my beef. Or if I don't have potatoes, I'll have rice. And I got this Mahatma, or Mah I don't know how you say it, Mahatma. Um, this cooks the best in the rice cooker that I use, um, but it's also like extremely good when you make it. Some rice isn't as good when you make it. This is really good. Um, with that, I said I eat a lot of wraps. Um, these are like extreme wellness. That's what they're called, high fiber carb lean. Um, they literally have 80 grams or 80 calories in it, 24 grams of carbs and eight grams of protein. So I normally have one of these in my tuna wraps and the macros on these are literally crazy and they're huge and they taste amazing. So yeah, they're, this is what they look like. Also, I'll have oats every now and then if I need more carbs. And um, sometimes I'll have bread. Now if I have bread, I make sure it's high quality and I go with Dave's Killer Bread. This is the Power Seed. Um, this just has the best in it and it's like, minimal sweeteners, but it has like organic fruit juices that it's made in, five grams of protein per slice, four grams of carbs, and has a ton of omega-3s in it and whole grains. So if I'm gonna eat bread, I'm gonna make sure it's whole grain. 
Um, style green beans. Any green beans are good. I think canned vegetables are slept on. I don't think they're that bad for you. I think they're great for you and the price on it you can't beat. So I mix that with my rice, my potatoes, and this is pretty much my carbs. So next we're gonna go into our fats, which is one of my favorites. So let's do it. Now with the fat sources, I keep it pretty minimal, honestly. I get most of my fat from the meat, um, with the red meat that I eat. But uh, if I do want more fat, I use PB2. Um, I add this, even though it's not super high in fat, if you use a bunch of it, it's got really good macros. It's got six grams of protein and two grams of fat in it. Um, so, you know, I just use like two servings. Um, if I'm just trying to hit like a certain goal there. Um, but if I want to load a lot of fat on and calories, I use peanut butter. Those who are bulking, this is literally the craziest way to hit your calories. I don't know how people can't. Peanut butter is addicting and you can easily hit your calories. Um, just make like PB&J sandwich. That's what I used to do in high school. I used to eat two PB&Js before we go to bed to gain weight and it worked. Uh, but PB or peanut butter um, is another fat source. And then lastly, um, with dairy, I have this natural cheese sharp cheddar. And uh, this is just another way for me to hit my dairy requirements for the micronutrients in that, and then also my fat. And also it has pretty much protein in this, but sharp cheddar cheese, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So peanut butter and cheese is my fat sources besides my meat. Um, that I eat for uh, for my protein. But with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay corn fed. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>